Time now for the Friends Zone. We bring one of our pals from the network onto the show. Tonight is Steve Hilton. He's about to become the newest host on this channel. His program is called The Next Revolution with Steve Hilton. It's airing for the first time Sunday at 9 p.m. And he joins us now. Steve, first of all, congratulations. This is awesome. Uh, I'm going to watch the show every Sunday night. You're doing it from Los Angeles. What, I mean, what is that like? And are you taking any flack from your neighbors who maybe don't agree with you? Yeah, lots of flack. Thank you, Tucker, for giving me the chance to talk about it. But before we get into it, I have a very important Kofifi update for you. So last <laughs> night good? on your... Last night on your show, you unleashed some wild speculation that the president's tweet, Kofifi, was actually Hungarian. Now, I my did, parents yes. are Hungarian. I, I speak Hungarian. I can confirm that Kofifi is not Hungarian. It's funny. So I, got clear an, that up. I got an email from Charlie, Charlie Gogolak, who's a friend of mine, one of the great play, place kickers in football history, who's Hungarian and said, not Hungarian. I think it's finished now. There but you are. Whatever. <laughs> whatever. So <laughs> what, uh, what's the show about? So uh, what I really want the show to be about is the uh, sworn enemy of lying pomposity, smugglers and groupthink. But someone got there first. So we can't do that. Uh, but it's very much in line with the way you see the world, Tucker. We're going to be looking at the failures of the elitist policies that we've seen for decades now from, from governments all over the world, from different parties that have really let people down, especially working people. And we're going to be setting out a positive agenda for changes that will actually help people in their daily lives. So I'm calling it positive populism. That's the idea. So... I guess it's just a, a broader question here, but the hysteria coming from the people in charge recently is so intense. Can, uh, is that because they feel their grip on power slipping or they're becoming more delusional or what is going on with those people? I think that's exactly right. They've had it their way for so long. You've had, the, you've had the elites in business and in government. They've centralized power. You've got corporations getting bigger and bigger, operating on a global scale, unaccountable to the people that work for them or that they serve. Same is happening with government, these multinational institutions. And they finally see that people have had enough of it. And in vote after vote, you saw it with Brexit. You saw it here with Donald Trump last year. The people are trying to carry out this revolution. That's why we've called it the next revolution. We yes. want to explain that populist movement and then look at what's coming next, what, what might be coming next and what should be coming next to really put power back in people's hands. Steve Hilton, one of the smartest people I know and one of the best explainers. It's going to be great. The show is The Next Revolution this Sunday and every Sunday, 9 p.m. Eastern. Steve, thanks a lot for that. We'll be right back.